Hey there, card folks, Speed Robo here, and welcome to a quick shopping tutorial in Card Fight Zero. Uh, we're going to be going over what the different resources mean, uh, what the different buttons and all the menus mean, the best way to get the most out of your in game resources. Uh, shout out to Phantom Duelist over on my Discord who uh, wanted me to talk about this today, so that's what we're going to do. Um, get started the primary resource that you're going to be using in this game is going to be your gems so your gems are your premium currency uh you can buy gems using real money i strongly discourage doing this um this game has one of the worst money to resource conversions i've pretty much ever seen like it's really bad this is eight dollars okay this is supposedly like some kind of super good bundle they have. The Beginner's Guardian set. $8, you get four packs worth of gems. And then one Perfect Guard Medal. In the Japanese version, I had Perfect Guard Medals coming out my ass because you get them for free just by grinding up your VP. Like, they're a VP reward. You, can, you get tons of these for free. Don't worry about your Sentinel Medal. And so you're basically just getting... Four booster packs worth for eight bucks. That's two dollars a pack. That's terrible. Um, oh, here's here's another one. You get for twenty bucks, you get a little bit over ten packs worth, and then a guaranteed triple rare. Not a guaranteed triple rare of the clan you want, just just a triple rare. Do not spend money on this game. Just just don't do it. Five thousand gems for eighty bucks. You mean? No. Terrible. Um, plus, I've been playing for only one day and I have 2,220 gems. So, like, you can get gems no problem for free. Uh, your next resource, your stamina. Your stamina refills up to its maximum. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just passively. But you can stockpile above it. And every day... Um, by logging in at certain times, you will get the stamina hearts, and these boost you above your maximum. Uh, and what stamina is used for is stamina is used for character quests and also story. Quests. So any single player mode, you're going to be using stamina. And the important thing to note is that these character fights give you crafting materials. And grinding character fights is the best way to get the cards you need to finish your deck. It's not booster packs. Booster packs in this game are hilariously not worth. The pull rates are terrible, and you're never going to get the card you want. Especially if the card you're looking for is a triple rare. Ten packs, you might get one triple rare, and that triple rare, odds of it being the one you're looking for, pretty slim. So, you know, packs, not worth it. Use, use your free packs um, in the way that gets you the cards you want in the highest probabilities, but in general, don't rely on packs at all. And that goes into my next point. You don't want to spend your gems on packs. You want to spend your gems on stamina refill. 75 stamina for 100 gems, because that stamina instantly converts into crafting material. So, these ones right here, Cost 15 stamina to do. So uh, let's do some quick maths. 75 is five runs of hard or very hard. And so that's worth it because that gives you roughly five triple rare gems and five of the other gem. And that's going to get you closer to crafting the cards you need to craft. So that's what I personally recommend you go for. Because odds are if you buy packs, you're going to get absolutely nothing. By stamina refills, you're guaranteed to get something for your money. That's what you want to do. Uh, now let's go talk about the shop. So here in the shop, uh, we've, we see another resource, item exchange. So item exchange, every time you buy a booster pack, you get one of these gray tokens. And you want to save up your gray tokens to either get yourself a Dragonic Overlord, because this card is 
the shit. You, if you're wanting to get wins, you're wanting to play Kagero, and Dragonic Overlord is the centerpiece of that deck. You want to play Dragonic Overlord, Blockade, and the end when it comes out. And the end is coming out already out in the Japanese version. It'll be here in about three to four months, all right? So you want to get Dragonic Overlord. 200 packs, Dragonic Overlord. That's what you want. Or if you're a cosmetics guy like me, you want to save up for these character skins. These character skins are a limited time deal, all right? So they get you two different sleeves and then a playable character, right? So those are the two things you want to get with this. And keep in mind your V medals, they come from buying booster packs. Now you're going to get so many free booster packs just for playing this game. You don't have to worry about it. I was a free to play user in the Japanese version. And after about a month, I had 200 of these. No problem. Next, you got your Guardian Medals. This is another currency. You get your Guardian Medals by grinding up. Look here in the VP rewards. Yep, thank you. I know. You hit 100,000 VP. Get the Sentinel Medal. All right. Sentinel Medals instantly convert into perfect guards. And uh, that's pretty good because you need four perfect guards to have a playable deck. That's just the truth. So even if you're doing what I'm doing, I talked about this in my previous stream, which is stockpiling resources that when the clan I want comes out, I can get what I want and dump all my resources into that, I'm still going to be turning my Sentinel Medals into perfect guards for my temporary clan, Royal Paladin. The reason why I'm doing that is because you get a ton of free Sentinel Medals just for playing the game. All right, uh, next, VIP, uh, again, total waste of money, don't want to buy this. Uh, last thing on here in the shop is the booster pack. So, like I've been talking, booster packs generally aren't super worth it and don't feel really good. Um, and you only want to buy with two. You don't want to waste your gems on this. Never waste your gems. Uh, and we can look here at the pull rates. I was talking about this. The pull rates are hilarious. You have the odds of you pulling any of these cards, any of these triple rares, and there's three triple rares per clan, 0.14%. Um, I think that's about it. The last thing I want to talk about resource-wise, like I said, this is going to be a very quick one. Uh, is the coins that you get. Now, for a while, I was confused as to what these coins do, and these coins are only used in the My Room. They're basically worthless, uh, because the My Room feature doesn't do so You go to the shop in My Room, and you've got the red coins, and you got your gold coin. And... The... I'm gonna get, get this. Yeah, why not? Uh... Well, that's it. I think that's that's everything on on the shopping. So, like I said, again, big big takeaway from this: don't spend your gems on that. Uh, they're not great. That's daily. You can do that daily. Do that daily. Get more worthless coins than or anything except more in my room junk. Awesome. Uh, I've been Speed Robo. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to stay tuned for more notifications. We're going to be doing a lot of Cardfight Zero content on here, so make sure you don't miss that, and I will see you next time.